2018 on Wednesday, March 23rd. This is the Westfield Zoning Board of Appeals meeting. Um, I'm going to call it to order. I am Chairperson Kick Sullivan. Um, I'm going to have the other board members introduce themselves. Um, I'll call them out since we're on Zoom. Uh, Sophia. Sophia, business member. Good evening. Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer Gilbert, alternate. Uh, and Christine. Uh, Christine Webster, um, member. All right. Uh, so we have the full board here, uh, those that are appointed uh, this evening um, with us. Uh, the first item on our agenda um, is the public, um, I guess, we have one public hearing on the, agenda, on, on the agenda this evening. That is on 397 Little River Road. I believe we have two or three other applications to accept. Is there somebody here for something that is not to be accepted or to be heard as a public hearing? No? Okay. Um, so with that, um, I know that we have a, a continuance on the um, public hearing for 397 Little River Road, um, which we can, um, I'll, I'll, I'll reopen that public hearing right now. Um, the continuation was submitted via email by attorney Sidepack uh, to the board. And um, they are still waiting on the site plan. Um, so, so we can further evaluate the, the application. Um, I think it makes sense to, to wait for the site plan to be submitted so we can make the full um, consideration of the application. Um, I understand there may be people here speak in favor or against, so I will open uh, the floor. Um, I just, I wanted to ask the, uh, the board, uh, I know Sophia is um, conflicted on this matter, correct? That is correct. Okay. Um, so Jen, Jennifer and Christine, um, do you have any issues with continuing the, the public hearing on 397 Little Road for pending this site plan uh, to be submitted? I do not have any I don't. Okay. Um, with that, I'll also acknowledge that there may be people here that uh, attended this meeting and seeming to speak in favor or against. Um, I know I opened the floor last time um, with the initial public hearing um, to have those people heard, um, obviously, because it's not an in-person meeting. So is there anybody here? Um, and I guess let me, I don't believe attorney Sipek or uh, maybe somebody else from the petitioner series. Is there anybody else here from the petitioner um, that just wants to state their name for the record that they're here? Um, if not, I'll proceed to open up the floor. No, okay. Um, is there anybody else here to speak in favor of 397 Little River Road? Um, I'll start with those um, against. No, I'm not seeing um, anybody speaking up. Um, I don't believe we received any emails. That, that's correct, Jack. There's no emails. I don't think the other board members received any emails uh, uh, since the last meeting. But did one did come in tonight. I just forwarded it to you. I did not check. So I will, um, I guess I'll post, I did not check my city email um, since I left my office. Um, I'll read, I, and I know I believe, I, if I recall correctly, I, I postponed reading those emails into the record um, until the, the public hearing um, with the site plan um, as continuation was requested. Um, so with, I guess if there's no one else here to speak against uh, this evening, I'm I will open up. Excuse me, I, I just wanted to state that my husband and I are still against it. I think you already have an email from us. Sure. Um, is if you wanted to, to so um, I did postpone the reading the emails into the record until the um, the next meeting, I believe, um, when we have this the site plan and everything to evaluate. Um, if you want to state, state your name um, and address for the record and then just fill us in on your, you know, briefly fill us in on your, on your opposition uh, to the application. Um, that would be appreciated. And uh, oh, yes. Over. My name is Donna Carmel. I'm at 399 Little River Road, um, right next door to the country store. And my husband, Robert Post, and I are um, still opposed to um, the expansion of the store due to noise and, you know, more uh, trash and that kind of thing, which was um, completely filled out in the email that was sent out. And that's, I really don't want to drag it out too much longer, but we already stated that we're against it. 
Sure. Yeah, I'll touch on the email again um, at the at the next meeting, um, and in your your uh, testimony will be noted this evening. Um, I appreciate that, um, and also appreciate your consciousness of the time. Um, is you. there any, anybody else here to speak against um, the application that I just not sent an email or not already read their testimony into the record? No. Okay. Um, I'll open up the floor to those in favor of the application. Um, if there's anybody here speaking in favor of the application um, that has not already sent an email or uh, read their, their testimony into record. No, okay. So obviously I, I re, I, I've already stated that the um, petitioners requested a continuance. Um, I believe the, the May 4th date was the, the um, that puts us on our regularly scheduled, I'm oh, no, sorry, yeah, May 4th puts us on a regularly scheduled meeting schedule and also worked for the petitioner. Um, that's, am I recalling that correctly, Jay? That's what they requested, yes. Yeah. Um, I would make a motion to extend the public, to continue the public hearing uh, for 397 Little Road to um, May 4th. Um, and I guess we should probably have a discussion before we make that, I make that motion. Let me re pause that for a second. Um, Jay, what, what's the protocol right now with in-person versus Zoom? So I guess the governor's signed an extension of Zoom meetings till July something, 15th maybe. So um, you can meet in person or you can continue with Zoom. It's up to the board. As much as I like the convenience of Zoom, I kind of think that sometimes it is easier to meet in person and to see everyone and see everything like if people have plans or whatever but again i'll defer to everyone but i i'm good either way jennifer do you have any preference no i don't i can do either yeah honestly i prefer in person as well i think that that it's um sometimes more streamlined and, and um expeditious and it is definitely easier to review plans and um navigate materials in person um so I would continue the um, this hearing, the, the petition for um, 397 Little Road to May 4th. And I will um, note that it will be, I guess we, I would say regularly scheduled room, regularly scheduled time. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know that in particular Jennifer um, knows the regularly scheduled room. Um, so I guess pending whatever room is, do we need to confirm what room is available, Jay? Um, we should be, we should continue it to us, place and date certain. So, um, it should be, I room, mean, city hall is certain enough. Yeah. Or, it should be room 315 at 715. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I will make a motion to continue in person, um, until May 4th, uh, room 315 at 715, as long as the scheduling allows. Do I hear a second? Jennifer or Christine. All those Baber Chairpers, Kick Sullivan, I, Christine. I. And Jennifer. I. Okay, so the motion carries. And just to clarify, that's uh, 315 in City Hall. Correct. Yes. In Westfield, Massachusetts, it's 01085. That's preferable. Um, so we're going to move on. Anybody here that's here for 397, we're going to obviously, that was postponed to May 4th uh, in person. Um, I'll read the I'll read those a, a bunch of emails into record at that time. Also willing to take additional testimony, um, but we're going to move on with our agenda this evening. Um, and with that, we I believe we have three applications to accept. Jay, correct? Unless I missed one. Yes, three. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take them the way that I have printed out, I guess, because uh, they don't appear on the agenda. Um, so if these are informal hearings, what we're going to do is we're going to call the petitions. Uh, in order that I have them, um, just ask the, the, the petitioner state their name and address for the record. And then we'll ask a, a few brief preliminary questions, set up a site visit, um, or just ask preliminary questions for us to more formally address in the public hearing. Um, and then accept those petitions and we'll schedule it for a public hearing. And those public hearings will be scheduled for um, the May, same May 4th date that we just continued to. Um, the, the Little River Road application. So um, with that, I will call the petition, um, petitioner 418 to Coa Terrace. 
um, seeking a special permit um, forward. I believe the name I have is Mary Ann Rusi. Yes, this is Mary Ann Rusi at 18 Nicole Terrace in Westfield. Thank you. Could you just briefly fill us in on the request for relief? Um, I, I have that in front of me, uh, but if you could just briefly summarize the reason for the request um, and the logistics of um, why it's needed. Yes, we're looking for a adjustment on the setback uh, in order to build a, uh, a structure in the back corner of our building that's 18 by 20 feet, and we hope to um, have the um, rear uh, setback at 12 feet and the west side setback also at 12 feet in order to align it with the driveway and also so that it doesn't interfere with the landscaping that we have um, carefully uh, tenured over the last 38 years. Understood. Um, and just so obviously the plan would be to build it as according to the plans that are submitted, you know, we have some elevation That's plans correct. in front of us. Yes. Um, and it's really just for, it looks like a, it's a shattered two car garage. What exactly is the structure? Uh, it's, a, it's a garage, it's going to have a garage door in the front. It's essentially for storage for us, but it could function as a garage and it's 18 by 20 feet. Nick, I'm embarrassed to ask this, but what property is this? I'm trying to find it in my emails. It's 18 to Coa Terrace. It's one that was submitted. Um, I think Jay submitted in the original email to us with the agenda. Okay. Probably from um, Monday. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's to be it's to be accepted, Christine. So it's it's it, it uh, may not have been formally posted. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say I don't see it either. So okay. No. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, I see the plans. The only thing I would ask oh, I um, is um, seems like a reasonable request. If you could, um, is it possible to stake? You know, I, I like to drive by the properties and just see where the structure is going to sit on the lot. If you okay. could just take out, um, you know, obviously we're not to, we're not going to hear this formally till May fourth. You know, like a maybe 10, 10 days or so beforehand. Um, okay. Just kind of put some stakes where the where the structure is going to exist, um, so we can just put a sight line on it. Yes, that would be fine. Thank you. Um, I don't really have any other, uh, and and I guess my other question would be, um, I don't see any formal survey here. You're fairly certain of these dimensions that you're requesting relief from. Yes, we we uh, contacted a surveyor to um, uh, stake out the property on the east side and our measurements were taken from that. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're confident because you we condition, you know, I don't see, uh, you know, I preliminarily don't have any objection to, to the, the project. Um, we just can you know, we obviously grant the relief that's requested and, and use the dimensions that are normally submitted it can potentially be a problem, obviously, if those aren't accurate. So that's mm -hmm. my only um, advice, but if you're confident, then that's fine yes, by me. We, um, we have things set on these stick up. We can measure from there. Yeah. Sure. Um, any other comment from the board for the petitioner before we move to accept? I just have a quick question. Do you know how far it is from the actual house um, that the storage is going to sit from? Because it looks like your house is pretty set far back into the lot. Do you know what the dimension is? Yeah. Um, let me take a look. It looks like there's there's some sort of a pergola that comes off the back. That's on the east side, and we're, we're yeah. putting the structures on the west side. Okay. It, um. So there, it looks like there's a pool. Is there a pool back there too? The pool is on yeah the east side. So okay. The structure we're talking about is on the west side, and generally it will align with the driveway. So you see that the. Uh, structure of the house is to the west side of the property as well. Okay. Got it. Perfect. That's all. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Christine or Jennifer, any further comments? No, I don't think so. 
Okay. okay. I will make a motion to accept the petition on 18 to Capoa Terrace. And do I hear a second? Second. Sophia. Um, all those in favor, uh, Chairperson Kick Sullivan, aye. Um, Sophia. Aye. Christine. Aye. And Jennifer. Aye. Okay. So, um, Ms. Rizzi, we will see you on the on May 4th um, in person um, at City Hall. And we look forward to meeting you. <laughs> yes, and I'll get in touch with you at least 10 days prior. The- yeah, you just have to. So we'll do a drive-by just to stake it out. Um, so if you just stake it out, we'll do, we'll do a... Uh, you know, the board members will go drive by the property and okay. we might get out of our cars, but we just, I like to see where it's going to sit on the lot. So that's all. Okay. So you don't need to contact us. It's just put it on the property and we'll take a look. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll move along. I believe there's a petition for 151 Sackett Road um, for a special permit and existing nonconformity. Um, if the petitioner could come forward. Um, I believe I have a Chad Seco. If they could state their name and address for the record and just briefly fill us in on the petition um, and the reasons. Chad Seco, 151 Sackett Road. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Baugh, also at 151 Sackett Road, although the name is in Chad, or the petition is in Chad's name solely. Sure. And I'm conflicted on this kick. I actually did this closing for him when he bought it. Sure. Oh, <laughs> that, <Christine. laughs> mm-hmm. that we one. do. We do only need uh, two, uh, one other member to accept. So, um, and Jennifer and Chris uh, and Sophia, you uh, good for the fourth? I presume, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. So we still have a full quorum. Then. Okay. Christine so, also did my closing, so yeah, you know. <laughs> <It> goes around. <laughs> I don't know if she knew that or remembers me, but <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> So, so if I ever do think anything on my property, I'm going to have to. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> going to be in trouble. Go. Elizabeth or Chad, you can proceed uh, just to briefly fill us in on the, on the petition. Um, sure, absolutely. So we're looking to do an addition to the existing house. Um, on the east side, the building already is uh, non-conforming <laughs> in that the edge of the property is too close to the edge of the structure. So what we're doing is we're not moving closer to the property line, but we're going to extend it back about 25 feet. So that would be a what is now a, a one-story carport. We'll have a room above the top, and then off the back of that would be um, on the first floor a shed and a, the sort of patio area. Gotcha. Um, it does move forward too, but it doesn't go closer to the road than the rest of the house does. It the garage itself will move forward five feet. Gotcha. So I'm looking at the plan. Um, the first floor, I see obviously the, the patio overhang, the garage utility room, proposed garage extension in the back, and then deck. Gotcha. Okay. And then there's obviously. So the um, images are these um, obviously the, the front, the, and the, on the petition that's submitted, the front and rear, that's what currently exists? Yes, it is. Okay, and then the below ones, obviously the digital images are for the, the mock-ups. So that's what it's proposed to look like, correct? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Um, and I, I presume these would, um, I mean, I think these are probably relatively, I don't necessarily, I don't know if the other board members have a problem with the images provided. Um, I think they're relatively give me a good idea of what is being done in the dimensions. Um, they are to scale and accurate. Um, proportionally correct. I don't know that I have any further questions for the petitioners. Uh, I think that the images provided and obviously the application, I'll, I'll go and drive through the neighborhood and see um any other, any other Jennifer or Sophia have any other questions for uh, Chad or Elizabeth? Set. Okay. I will make a motion to accept the petition on 151 Sackett Road. Uh do I hear a second? Second. Sophia. Um let's, uh all those in favor of approving. Um Chairperson Kick Sullivan, aye. Sophia. Aye. And Jennifer. So that motion carries. Um, so again, that will be again scheduled for May 4th at uh, 7.15 in room 315 at City Hall. So we will see you then. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Have a good night.
Um, I'll move on to the third application to be accepted. That is 77 Orange Street. Um, I have a petitioner of Thomas, I mispronounced your last name, excuse me, Violetta. Um, if the petitioner could come forward and just state their name and address for the record and briefly fill in on the petition. Hello? Is this Thomas, Mr. Vila? Yeah, Vuelta. Vuelta, excuse me, thank you. Um, if you could just reiterate, restate your name for the record and your address, and then briefly fill us in on the reasons for um, your requesting relief. Uh, Thomas Vuelta, 77 Orange Street. Um, I'm 66 years old, and I just wanted to put a carport there because in the wintertime I have a difficult time going out there clearing the snow off the car all the time. And I've been in this house since 1994 and my dad owned the house since 1973. So um, never had a garage or anything. It, it's not needed, but it's convenient for me at my age and, you know, not have to shovel the snow. Sure. So, I mean, you, you provide us with dimensions of the carport. Um, yeah. Uh, it's going to be 20, uh, well, 12 by 20. You know, fit on my existing driveway. Um, the reason for this whole thing is because the house next door is pretty close to the property line. It's like about seven feet from the property line. And uh, my driveway is about a foot from the property line. The, edge of it so the house would be pretty close but i talked to him and he doesn't have an issue with it um but um the one question i have if it's approved how far does it can it extend a couple of feet beyond the front of my house or does it have to be equal even with it or you know not beyond the front edge so what you're requesting right now is, you know, we, we condition on the plans as submitted. So right now you're requesting a 12 by 20 um, in accordance with the plan. So that, that would be, no, it would not be permitted to extend beyond the front. And I don't, I don't know. Um, we would be, if you were going to change the dimensions from what was submitted, we would need you to um, resubmit a plan or some no, sort of I'm sketch. Not changing, I'm not changing the uh, dimension. It's it's going to be a uh, uh, metal carport opened all the way around. It's just the roof, and um, it, it'll fit within. I've got 22 feet of space there from the back of my driveway to the front of my house, so it, it fits within it now. The only reason I, I wanted to move it up a few feet is because in the winter time there'll be a snowbank there, and I wanted the three feet in the back side of it to unload my vehicle for the groceries and stuff like that but that's not you know needed it was i i can park farther up and just step out the side of the carport you know so i was just uh ask yeah, go he's, ahead he's asking about the front setback so you should be able to align with the abutting house front setback by right um so I think the front port, the porch of the house to the right, or east. Or, yeah, see, um, I don't. I comes I, up closer, so you can align with that. Um, I can think the board. Yeah. Just, the board will just want to know exactly what you are proposing, so that it's clear in their decision uh, what they're granting. This porch extends like five, six feet farther than my house. I don't have a front porch. My entry is on the side. So I've got like 16 feet to get to the front sidewalk where his house, he's got about five or six feet to the front sidewalk because he has a porch on the front. I only wanted to extend it like two feet beyond my house. So it'd still be within, it wouldn't come out to as far as his porch came out, you know, if I could, if I can't, I can't and I'll live with it. Yeah, I think, I think what Jay's would, um, the planner is saying is that you're allowed to you're allowed to align it with the um the, that front porch of your neighbor's property um, you just can't oh, go well beyond then that, so. I, yeah i'll be well within 
because I only want to come out like two feet from my house. And his porch comes out about, I'd say, at least eight eight feet, six to eight feet. Okay. So I'd be well, I'd be well within that. Sure. Um, so I guess at, at the hearing, we would we'd want to know specific dimensions as to what you want the carport to look like. So um, I guess if, if you were to infringe on any sort of further setbacks, um, so I guess the current plan is fine as long as you were not going to further encroach. Um, I think it's a side yard setback that we're, con we're concerned about here, Jay, correct? Right. That That's yeah. not going to change at all. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, I, I, and then it's, it's going to be a, 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 you said it's just going to be a roof with a, you know, metal, I guess, a metal um, post to uphold the roof. And that's the proposed structure. Right. I, I wrote down the website of the company that I'd probably purchase it from. So they'll come in, deliver it and install it. So it's just a standard. It's kind of like the one that you have on, on Main Street where they sell the flowers across from Noble Street. They have that little carport where they have the, I think Rudy used to sell flowers there. I don't know who does it now, but um, sure. it's just a standard metal with a metal roof, you know, galvanized metal roof. Gotcha. Understood. All yeah, it may be helpful to have a, a picture. Or yeah, if you could, um, Thomas, if you could get us kind of a, a rough sketch or uh some sort of digital image of what that is going to look like. So we can just can add it to our findings. I don't I have any preliminary objections to it, but if we had some sort of image to condition it off of, I think it, um, you know, in case any All right. you know, neighbors are curious uh, as to what it's uh, going to look like other than a box is, would be helpful. Right. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try. I, I'm very a novice on computers and stuff like that. So uh, I'll do my best. I have sure. trouble um, take, taking pictures and, and, you know, emailing images. I don't sure, need to help me do that. Understood. We appreciate your due diligence. So um, with that, is there any other uh, questions that the board has for the petitioner? No, I okay. will make a motion to accept the um, application on 77 Orange Street. Do I hear a second? Second. Sophia. Second, uh, third. <laughs> All those in favor, <laughs> Chair Persky Sullivan, aye. Sophia, aye. Christine, aye. And Jennifer, aye. Okay. So we will see you on uh, May 4th, Thomas. If you could get us, uh, get Jay, he will get us the, um, any any images you provide to him. So if you could just forward it to the, the planning department, um, they will get us okay. anything you provide. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, and let me find my agenda. Um, so we'll move on. I believe that is all the hearings and the applications for this evening. Am I incorrect? That's all. Okay. Okay. Um, so then I have review and approval of meeting minutes. Um, Chris did send those out. They look fine to me. Any they other were orders? fine to me. I will make a motion to accept, unless anybody has objection, uh, the meeting minutes as sent by Chris. Uh, do we hear a second? Second. Christine. <laughs> All those in favor, Chair Person Sullivan, aye. Christine. Aye. Sophia. Stay. And Jennifer. Aye. Okay. Um, annual election of chair. Uh, do we want to do this evening or do we want to postpone? I, have no I nominate Tick Sullivan. <laughs> Second. All in favor. <laughs> Uh, all those in aye. favor, I will accept. Uh, aye. Chair Bruce Sullivan, aye. Christine, yeah, aye. Sophia, You're done. Jennifer, yeah. okay. Aye, aye. I'm, yeah. I'm stuck. I'll take, yeah. the big, I'll take the big pay raise. Mm -hmm. I hear it's in the works. <laughs> um, anything else the board wants to discuss? No. Nope. <laughs> right. Motion to adjourn. Yeah, we uh, should probably. Second. Probably yeah. on the next meeting before you do. Um, on the next meeting, we should probably talk about the Mullen rule. Can you what? refresh my memory on that, Jay? The Mullen Rule, which the uh, city adopted last year, maybe. So that will allow um, a member who's missed a hearing to review with tape. Well, we won't oh, have tapes cool. if we're back in City Hall. Video or transcript uh, to vote on it. Oh, awesome. Okay. That's kind of cool. Okay. 
Yeah, and actually, in a reminder, because I know I did not uh, get sworn in, um, and I know I think myself and Christine. And and, I need and, to get sworn in as well. I'm yeah. going to go tomorrow, though. I was Where do we to go? go the clerk's office. Uh, all right. Wait, well, I we have to do that. Yeah, we get there. No, I think you're good, Jennifer, because you were appointed yeah. last year. I think it's two year terms. Uh, I think the rest of us were appointed the first time and then were never reappointed. <laughs> yeah, right. so I know I was. So. All right. It doesn't matter that much, except Christine, and it will be alternate until she's sworn in, I guess. No. Okay. You don't get that All right. Well, I'll you. get there. Morning, it's probably, I'll try, but it's probably not going to be until for at least I got to get through closing. So. I'll try to get over there as soon as I Christmas can. Christmas time. Before May 4th. Right. Before May 4th. You got it. See you then. All righty. I'll, I'll second aye. that motion to adjourn. All those in favor. Chirpers can say an aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Everybody aye. else said aye. Okay. Aye. All right. I got it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.